Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Miridam Sai and you are watching Multanta YouTuber. So I am back with uh, your ticket to the wild world of tech and today is Wednesday so it's time for tech news. So without any delay, let's get into the video. So the first update comes from Google. So Google is delaying the shutdown of Chrome app. So uh, it was uh, gonna shut down quite a while ago, but uh, it's still over there. So now, uh, according to the new updates, the Chrome apps will uh, won't shut down until June 2022. So they will uh, shut down after uh, June 2022, and they will uh, go completely out of Chrome. But uh, Google is encouraging the developers to develop a Chrome extension because they are going nowhere and uh, it's there to simplify the user experience so now the update again happens to be from google so uh, google has launched people's card feature for uh, india so uh, people's card feature is essentially a online uh, business card that has your name that has your country that has all kinds of uh, designations so uh, it, it it would be quite easy to find people and uh, to you know contact people and to identify if the person is authentic or not so this uh, uh, will bring a lot of changes so uh, and now because of the pandemic everything is going online people are hiring people online so this uh, could be a thing so the update happens to be from amazon so amazon uh, rebrands twitch prime as prime gaming so everything's gonna be the same but uh, now it will be called uh, prime gaming a part of uh, amazon prime family so that would be quite interesting to see how things will turn out and uh, uh, on top of that this also shows uh, amazon's commitment towards uh, gaming industry so uh, let's hope uh, everything turns out well because amazon also uh, owns a game developing company amazon games so uh, we can see a lot of things coming our way uh, so another update happens to be about apple so iphone shipments might see a drop of 30 percent because of trump administration's ban on wechat so other apple products also might see a drop up to 25 percent so since iPhones are top selling products from Apple and uh, they generate majority of the revenue uh, for the company, 30% uh, drop in shipments might uh, mean a lot of losses and it would be interesting to see how things turn out and uh, we'll keep you updated so do subscribe if you have not. So recently there has been quite a buzz about uh, Microsoft buying TikTok and TikTok being banned in the US. So after the executive order from uh, Trump administration that if uh, TikTok is not bought by uh, American company in the uh, in month and a half, then uh, they cannot sell to any other companies in the US. And for uh, TikTok to exist in the US, they need to be owned by a uh, uh, American company or majority of needs to be owned by the American company. So. Uh, the things are quite uh, hyped right now and microsoft is interested in buying tiktok so it would be interesting to see if this deal is complete or any other uh, american company would buy tiktok and uh, you know ensure that tiktok stays in the us so the update happens to be about pixel 5 so google's flagship pixel 5 probably won't have a flagship processor uh, so rumors say that this phone might have a qualcomm 765g processor uh, so which is a bummer because a flagship phone without a flagship processor and uh, though uh, the 765g might be a good processor but it's, it's still not a flagship processor uh, like the 800 series so uh, this might add uh, some negative points or the uh, negative side to uh, the flagship uh, pixel 5 but uh, the real thing is still to come out uh, these are just rumors so let's hope it has a flagship processor uh, time will tell so another update happens to be about Toshiba. So Toshiba is now officially out of the PC business. So they sold their PC business to Sarp uh, and uh, now Sarp has renamed it to Dynabook and now it's a uh, completely owned uh, subsidiary of Sarp. Uh, they, uh, two years back Toshiba sold 80.1% stakes of its PC business to Sarp and uh, now they have uh, sold the remaining 19.1% uh, to Sarp and uh, Yes, they are officially out of the PC business. So that was it for today's episode of Tech News. I hope you liked the video. If you did, do leave a like. If you are new to the channel and love uh, the bizarre world of tech, do hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so every time I upload a new video, you get notified. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.